Well, absolutely. They were actually on recess. So school resumed today. We've been to uh, Asafo class of schools. We've also visited schools in Abakum. Then currently, I am at the state experimental school, which of course resumed today. But no show, as you can see on the screens. I mean, the caterers were supposed to, on the first day, ordinarily, they were supposed to come around, clean the place, and then prepare the first meal. Some who are unable to do that will do, I mean, that tomorrow. But uh, no show is what I see here. And I can tell you that it is bite and harder. Right. And, and then also, we know that uh, yesterday or the, a few days ago, the caterers wanted to present a petition to the regional minister. He had... Uh, it became quite chaotic and confrontational. The original minister gave his side of the story. Um, what are the caterers saying? Now that the minister has also spoken, are they still going ahead with their decision? or their, What have they been telling you, the caterers? Well, 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 so this morning when I engaged leadership, they were telling me that at least they know that times are hard. Government is finding it very difficult to maintain certain demands from various sectors, considering the exigency from various sectors of economy. They also admit that or acknowledge the fact that things are hard. And rather, at least there should be some level of dialogue. That is missing at the moment, and that is even making them more, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, irritating because. They, they, they felt that somebody is just not sensitive to what they are also going through. I mean, some who are operating on credit, the banks after them and all of that. And Martin here, we're talking about over 1,500 schools that are currently affected by the current situation. What they are looking forward to is nothing short of a dialogue. And it looks like if that happens, then they are going to soften their stance. But that hasn't happened as I'm talking to you now. And finally, um, Evans, so we know that the school authorities would definitely be welcoming these pupils or students. Um, have they also given you any indication what they can do now, especially to increase or sustain attendance? They are not talking. I mean, they have been very economical with information because they are also looking at uh, the political profit the of I mean, we're supposed to find it its way into this whole thing. Uh, mind you, that is a stronghold of the party. And Martin, I even understand that this whole thing is a nationwide thing. But the, 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 the belief is that if Ashanti region is shaking, as far as this whole development is concerned, then it will shake the government to also, I mean, act. And that is why we are seeing more of, I mean, development from the caterers in charge of the school feeding program. I mean, happening here in the Ashanti region. It's a nationwide issue, but the Ashanti region is taking the lead. And I would be surprised that in the coming days, we're going to see that if that happens, mm. we're, we're going to see other regions also joining. Uh, but the, the teachers, the, the headmasters are not talking, even right. though, I mean, behind the scenes, they tell you that it is very difficult for them, but they also don't want to be victimized. Right, right. I mean, I, I totally understand that. Thank you very much. I